More of us are choosing to stay indoors while temperatures continue to drop. So it begs the question, will staying indoors increase the risk of being exposed to COVID-19? Well, reports say HVAC systems can help ventilate indoor air, but mitigation efforts may be dependent on human behavior. Uh, air quality has always been a concern. It's just been brought to the forefront recently with uh, the concerns of the COVID-19. It's getting colder and more of us are choosing to stay indoors. So is our indoor air safe? So we're, we're really taking a comprehensive approach to mitigating any risk of COVID-19 transmission. That's Associate Vice President of Administration and Business Affairs at Saginaw Valley State University, Ron Portwine. He says the university's buildings are designed and engineered to provide recommended levels of ventilation and air changes. If you look at classrooms, our classrooms in general provide four to six air changes per hour. And what that simply means is how often we're supplying and replenishing the air in a classroom. While good indoor air is crucial in good health, human behavior still plays a role. That's why classrooms have been reduced in size, plexiglass has been installed, and masks are required on campus. By reducing the capacity of the classroom, uh, but not changing the design of the building, we're effectively providing double the amount of air per person that we normally would have. The university is following guidelines imposed by the CDC and ASHRAE, or the American Society of Heating, Refrigerating and Air Conditioning Engineers. They say air ventilation can greatly improve and reduce airborne exposures. And, and that's really the most effective strategy that we can employ, as opposed to your house where you're really circulating air for the most part. And if you want to achieve ventilation or bring in fresh air, you're back to opening windows again. Now, Portwine says they're running systems 24 hours a day now to keep that air moving. And that's a stark difference from their strategies before the pandemic. Reporting live in the studio, Blake Keller, TV5.